Um, one egg. Catch. I remember an episode that we're not going to talk about. <laughs> one egg. And now some people call this their secret spice. It's not a secret spice. It's just crab oil. So we're going to put a little bit of crab oil in there. Because you don't have to go online and buy somebody else's special thing. You go to any store and get Louisiana style crab oil. Put it in your fish, your chicken, anything. It's really good. Now what we're going to do, we're just going to stir this right up and make our batter. Let's take a look at this through our patent and grilled oak zoom technique. Mm. Oh yeah, that's looking good right there. And we're going to mix this up into a dough. Now that we have it all mixed. Oh, that is looking really, that is looking really good. Now this is what I'm doing. I just basically have some vegetable oil here. And over here we have the Hush Puppy mix with the corn kernels and the jalapenos. And I'm sure this is going to be quite spicy for the grill pack. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to cook up our spicy Hush Puppies. Now these aren't going to be like the little Hush Puppies you get in the, in the restaurants. that are all dry and have no flavor to them. These are actually going to be like, well I don't know, you'll see. But they're going to be good. And then what we're doing, we've already turned these over. We let these cook on one side, and then once they're pretty much firm, we just take our scoop. And I'm using a plastic scoop here, but you can use anything that's temperature proof. And just flip it over and then cook it on the other side. And these are looking really nice. So let's get a volunteer over here. Come on, taste these. Hey, there's Bill Dog. Bill Dog, come on over here. What do you want to taste? What do you want to sample here? Mm. Try one of, oh, well, and we'll try one of it. That was the lemon juice one. Okay, you want to try one of the hush puppies? Try the other end. It's not a double dip. Oh, okay, okay. not a double dip. They must be really good. Mm. All right, thank you, Bill. Take a little kind of spicy hush puppies along with you for oh, the road, yeah. and we'll get a grill electable mm -hmm. over here. Grill electable is a vegetarian, but these hush puppies are actually fried in vegetable oil and not anything to do with beef. I mean, if you want to try it, this is the sweet one, and that's the regular one. Do the regular one. Try a regular one. Because she wants the sweet one. Would you like to dip it in this hot, spicy sauce? Okay, well then why don't you try it? Let us know what you think of Chef Billy. Billy G. That's good. Well, thank you, Grill Lectable. So, Grill Wino, why don't you try one of the pieces of catfish and dip it in one of our little sauces and tell us what you think of our layout here today. Well, I thought I would go with something a little bit more spicier. Well, then try it. <laughs> I don't think anyone's tasted these yet. Now that's a kick. I like it. There you go. <laughs> well, that was some show. I want to thank my good buddy Bill Dog for showing up and does what he does best. Oh, not quite sure what that is. I want to especially thank our guest chef, Chef Billy G, who came out here to show us how he's going to make some hush puppies, some fried catfish. I tell you, a fried fish party is awesome. I want to thank the rest of the grill pack for showing up here. We showed you a lot of different things that you can do today. We showed you a lot of different things other than your basic tartar sauce to make to spice up your fish fried fish or anything, your hush puppies. That stuff is good on anything fried. And I just want to thank everybody who came out here today. I want to thank you for watching us. And I hope you learned a lot about Hush Puppies, Fried Fish, Southern Hospitality. I want to thank my special guests, Grill Pup, Jude Lieberman, and Lee Books for their efforts in helping me write this stuff. And actually, I try to use what they write as much as possible. And for everybody, thank God... That's a wrap. <laughs> and if you're not about food, fun, and friends, you're doing it wrong. Now what are you putting in the oil? Alright, this is the last of the fish in our 
Billy's G. There's a lot of flying frisk going on right now. Frisk? There's a lot of flying. There's a. Bah! There's a lot of flying fish going on right now. This far. Next, we're gonna add some crushed chili, crushed chili peppers in here. Crust or crushed? Huh? Crushed chili Crusted? peppers. Crust? No. Now there's a lot of history behind hush puppies. Like, where did that dang name come from, anyway? Well, from my recollection, back south when they had one of their huge fish fry parties where everybody got together on a Sunday after church, we mean everybody got there. That meant the dogs, too. Not my buddy dogs, but real dogs. And while everybody was preparing the food, the batter for the fish, the dog would be yapping and yapping and yapping. Yapp so to shut them up. The folks who were cooking would have these little things called corn cones. Just little bits of corn, maybe some batter. And they would toss them to the dogs. And the dogs would sit there and they'd clap them all up. And they'd be quiet. So they were to hush the puppies up. Shh. Well, that's really <laughs> so. Now, grill dogs' words are in this song. Yeah, if you're not in it for food, fun, and friends, you're doing it. And they <laughs> what was that? <laughs> I was inspired. You were inspired. <laughs>